Now, NBC salutes the cast of Seinfeld like you've never seen them before. First, here's Seinfeld from French TV. En plus, moi, je les aime pas, les Drake. Tu n'aimes pas les Drake? Je déteste les Drake. Moi, je les adore, les Drake. Comment peux-tu ne pas aimer les Drake? Mais c'est quoi, d'abord, les Drake, hein? Mais qu'est-ce que c'est que cette question? Mais les Drake sont très gentils. Oh. Did you know Spanish is also a sign language? The Tin Marine, the Doping Way, Cucara, Macara, Titere, Fue. Next, when Julia Louis Dreyfus was a regular on Saturday Night Live, there wasn't a dry eye left in the house. The image we have of the Old West is that of a society totally dominated by men. Is that accurate? <laughs> no, not at all, Bonnie. In fact, many of the first homesteaders were women. <laughs> There was a famous woman train robber. Oh. You're a funny guy. In this rare clip, Jason Alexander pays tribute to the Pratt Fall. That's me, I just keep them. Stitches. I guess it's not funny. And finally, long before Kramer, Michael Richards was... Hollywood's top fitness trainer, Dick Williams, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, watch it, watch it. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. All right, go ahead, try it now, try it now. Is that a little better for you? All right. Now watch out. You gonna spot me? Yeah, there's a good 20, 25 pounds on there. Be careful. Oh. NBC proudly salutes Seinfeld, America's number one show. Your local news is next. Now, Debbie Allen on this May's biggest event, Jurassic Park. Honey, I love Jurassic Park. I thought it was cinematic genius. My favorite dinosaur is that little one that spit in the man's face. I liked it because he's little, but he had power. I kind of see myself that way, you know? Catch Jurassic Park on NBC. Honey, I'll be watching it again. Kelly Martin stars in the world premiere movie, If Someone Had Known, next on NBC. Now, LL Cool J of NBC's In the House on this May's biggest event, Jurassic Park. I love Jurassic Park. My favorite dinosaur was, you know, as much as I love the Tyrannosaurus Rex, I like the Velociraptors. They're ridiculous. They're like grimy lawyers, like two attorneys. I'm LL Cool J. Jurassic Park is in the house on NBC. An all-new In the House jams next on NBC, the home of this May's biggest event, Jurassic Park. You've been watching an affectionate look at fatherhood on NBC. Now it's time for NBC trivia. Frazier's son shares his name with one of these three artistic geniuses. Is it William Shakespeare, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, or Frederick Chopin? The answer is... Frederick, Frederick? The best one was Frederick. But it's a bloody good one. <laughs> oh, jeez. Catch an all-new Frasier this Tuesday on NBC. Mel Gibson stars in Forever Young, next on NBC. The place to be for Jurassic Park tomorrow night. It is perhaps the greatest unsolved mystery of all time. Millions of years ago, before the dawn of man, dinosaurs ruled the planet. Ultimately, these incredible creatures vanished from the face of the Earth. Though many theories have been advanced, no one has ever been able to fully explain just how and why they disappeared. This Sunday night, the dinosaurs return right here on NBC. Don't miss the broadcast premiere of the most successful film of all time, Jurassic Park.
Dateline is next on NBC, the place to be for the network premiere of Jurassic Park this Sunday night. Now an NBC classic moment as Bette Midler gives Johnny Carson a send-off to remember. You sexy thing. <laughs> your charm, your wit, your talent, your civility. How I miss the social intercourse so very. Now I have to have it with the guy I marry. <laughs> From Johnny to Jerry, Bette Midler guest stars on an all-new Seinfeld next Thursday. Now, Backstage NBC, sharing five years of memories at the Blossom series finale. This is Blossom Russo, and this is my very first video diary entry. And there are so many memories. I had some really good times with really unique people. We're all very uh, proud of the work that we've done. And we told some good stories. I'll be able to look back and say, wow, that was a wonderful experience. I'm very excited about the future. I just hope that whatever I choose to do with my life, that it's good and as exciting as these past five years have been. One week from tonight, the one-hour Blossom finale. Now an all-new In the House, next on Nonstop NBC. Now NBC's Mad About You trivia. Where did Thursday night's king and queen of coupledom, Paul and Jamie Buckman, first meet? The Statue of Liberty? The newsstand? The American Museum of Natural History, or the skating rink at Rockefeller Center. You might have guessed the newsstand, where Paul and Jamie first met as adults. Still have the Sunday Times? Last one right here. Thanks. But true Mad About You devotees know that they first met when they were kids at the Museum of Natural History. Sit! <laughs> Thursday, see how life would be if the Buckmans had never met on the one-hour season finale of Mad About You. The comedy coup de grace. Frasier rolls next on NBC. Now, Seinfeld's Michael Richards on his trademark entrances as TV's funniest next door neighbor, Kramer. I came up with this kind of entrance because I had to fit myself into the scene. And when I come in, I gotta really come in. That's pretty intense, yeah. huh? It's Bet. It's Bet. Tomorrow night, Bet Midler joins Kramer and the gang for an all-new Seinfeld on NBC. Now, Dateline. Tonight, in one hour on NBC, don't miss the gripping season finale of Law & Order. Now, go backstage with star Sam Waterston, who plays assistant DA Jack McCoy. He'll fit in with the world of Law & Order, which is a pretty gritty world. The cops blackmailed him first. We'll let one of them explain why Barnett's story is so flexible. But he's cocky and optimistic and argumentative and aggressive. He's sort of a, a merry attack dog. <laughs> Broadcasting from 214 affiliates nationwide, including WLBT3 Jackson, Mississippi. You're watching NBC. Now, an NBC exclusive with the cast of Friends backstage at the Rembrandt's new music video. All right, here we go, everybody. Stand by. I think the song's great. I think it's really uplifting. It's one of those feel-good songs. It really sort of captures the essence of the show. I've been having a blast. So I'm thinking seriously becoming a rock star. 
Don't miss the first live performance of the Rembrandt's I'll Be There For You tonight on Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Now, stay tuned for NBC's Seinfeld. Now, the NBC Television Network presents the Lawrence Brothers Quiz Show. Which brother starred in NBC's Give Me a Break and Blossom? Joey. Number two. This brother starred with Robin Williams in the hit film Mrs. Doubtfire. Matthew. All right, panel, who played Tom Arnold's son in Tom on another network? Andy. And which Lawrence brother will star in NBC's new comedy, Brotherly Love? All three. Join Joey, Matthew, and Andy Lawrence in Brotherly Love coming this fall to NBC. This is Ralph Fletcher speaking. Veronica Hamill stars in Shadow of Obsession next on NBC. It's now time for the first annual Fresh Prince Foosball Championship. We're about to get our little foosball on. That's right. About to get our little foosball now, on. Now, see, this is my game. That would be two for me. But none of that. None of that. <laughs> yeah, that'd be three for me. See, now you cheat. None of that, cowboy. You need to find that. He's a... That would be four for me. <laughs> put it in. I can't put it in my head. Blood ass. What's up, bro? His feet. That's bad feet. You only got one, right? When somebody play you like that, you just take care of it like this. <laughs> Catch the Fresh Prince tomorrow at 8. Now, brace yourself for Sequest, next on NBC. Now, go beneath the surface of Sequest with Roy Scheider. The most challenging aspect is to play some of the uh, more fantastical aspects of the show. The Sequest is the largest submarine that's ever been built, and creatures are constantly threatening this boat. The Sequest must conquer these creatures and save the world every week. That's a very formidable task. Broadcasting from 214 affiliates nationwide, including WLBZ3 Baton Rouge, you're watching NBC. Now, Alan Thicke shares a few words about his favorite talk show host, Dennis Dupree. My ears are burning. Someone's talking about me. Dennis is vain. I'm seeing a lot of the this and the this and the this. Arrogant. I can see into women's souls. It's my business. Pompous. Am I? Am I really? He's very proud of his hair. I feel like I'm on trial here. Alan Thick is Dennis Dupree, Thursdays on Hope and Gloria. Now, Monday night at the movies on Nonstop NBC. Now it's time again for NBC Trivia. I'm Marv Albert. Now, earlier, we asked you to name Bob Costas' first ever job in broadcasting. No, it was not sideline reporter for the roller derby. He was the play-by-play -play voice of the spirits of St. Louis in the American Basketball Association. Bob looking very sporty. Fine, Marv. You know, I was just leafing through my own memory book. Get a load of this. The NBA Finals tomorrow at 9 Eastern. Dateline hits right now on NBC, the place to be for the 1995 NBA Finals. Now, let's rack them up with Greg Kinnear and friends Lisa Kudrow. You've seen her in Mad About You, you've seen her in Friends, but have you ever seen her pull this little maneuver off? Oh, no. <laughs> you've seen her in Friends, you've seen her in Mad About You, but have you ever seen her with eight seconds left pull this little trick okay, off? Okay, okay. Oh, Watch for Lisa Kudrow on Friends and Greg Kinnear on Later, only on NBC, home of the network Pool Sharks.
Does the cast of NBC's hit comedy Friends hang out in a coffee shop or a coffee house? Find out during a coffee break with Friends. So this is pretty much our coffee shop. Right. Let me get you some coffee. So this is the coffee house. It's a coffee house. Do I get an espresso? And everyone always says, all right, next thing we're in the coffee shop. Latte. It's not a coffee shop. It's a yeah, it's very not. different thing. Coffee shops have, like, food. Cookie? Anybody like more coffee? Do you make it, or are you just serving it? I'm just serving it. Yeah, I'll have a cup of coffee. Friends, part of Must See TV Thursday. It's Cradle of Conspiracy, right now on NBC, home of the 96 Summer Olympics. NBC News Reels with all the sports that's sporting to report. Ralph Ledger here as Cynthia Stevenson battles Jessica Lundy in championship arm wrestling. We're breaking the table. Oh no, you're way stronger than I am. I'm already frightened. <laughs> I feel like I'm in labor. <laughs> she looks so frail. I'm sweating. Uh, this can't be attractive. <laughs> There's our new champion. Be sure to watch for our contestants on Hope and Gloria, moving to Sunday nights this fall. Now, get up to the minute with Dateline NBC. Now join Kelsey Grammer as he gives later's Greg Kinnear the real scoop on Eddie the Dog. What is the deal with Eddie the Dog? It's become very popular to play up the idea that I don't like this dog. <laughs> well, it's just not true. <laughs> He's no, a marvelous little quadruped. Uh... <laughs> I mean, you just can't stop laughing at that dog. <laughs> Catch Eddie and Kelsey too every Tuesday on Frasier. Seinfeld is next on NBC. Now, an NBC comedy break with Rondell Sheridan on Big Game Hunting. I always make goofy hunters. I met a guy one time, he said he hunts squirrel with a shotgun. Correct me if I'm wrong, a squirrel is this big. Shotgun makes a hole this big. There's no challenge there. Challenge would be, say, hunting squirrels with a handful of peanuts and a hammer. That'd be a challenge. Catch Rondell Sheridan in Minor Adjustments, coming this fall to NBC. Now, an NBC comedy break with Rondell Sheridan on the perils of personal hygiene. Guys, you ever walk in your woman's shower? She's got that huge sponge in there. Ladies, what the hell are you buffing that you need a sponge that bare? Do you have a car in the bathroom or something? Honey, let me in. First time I used a loofah sponge, I didn't know you were supposed to wet it for using it. Sure proves a theory we're all pink on the inside. Catch Rondell Sheridan in Minor Adjustments, coming this fall to NBC. Now, let's hang with that hip-hop haberdasher, LL Cool J. I wear so many different hats, man. It's just like inexplicable, man. <laughs> I don't work without my hat. I wear different hats to different occasions. I may throw on a leather hat backwards with a tuxedo, a baseball hat with a with a with a silk suit. The right hat for the right occasion is the right hat for the right occasion. Sorry about that. I should have worn my other hat. <laughs> Catch LL Cool J and In the House returning next Monday on NBC.
Ever wonder how LL Cool J got his name? Find out as we go on the set with Greg Kinnear. Now, LL Cool J, <laughs> where, did, where did you, where does that come from? I, I used to go back and forth with this young lady and she used to say, ah, the ladies hate you, all the girls hate you, no girl like you. So I said, yeah, I'm gonna change my name to Ladies Love Cool James. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of aggravated a little bit. So I made it, you know, ladies love Cool J. And I thought it was a little ridiculous. Right. It might not go over well across the world, so I just made it LL. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're hip, know that In the House returns next week. Stay tuned for more Fresh Prince right now on NBC. Now, go behind the badge of homicide detective Frank Pembleton with Andre Brower. Frank is an avenging angel who's God's avenging angel on Earth. To kill someone, anyone, in cold blood, it's murder. God lying! Even if you walk out of here scot-free, God is gonna make you pay. <gasps> when Pembleton sees a victim, he says someone must avenge this. Uh -huh. I want JMJ right now. I want JMJ right now. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Your death will not go unavenged. Andre Brower is Detective Frank Pembleton, and you can see him in just one hour on Homicide. Now, Dateline NBC. Now, go behind the badge of homicide detective Frank Pembleton with Andre Brower. Frank Pembleton is one of those people who can just sit there and decide what is it, what do you have? And he begins to lay his traps. Do burglars usually come up and ring the front door? Why is your first impulse to go get your gun? Now, maybe you don't hear one shot, but you don't not hear two shots. Fire, fire, fire. You killed him. You <laughs> shot him, didn't you? I shot him. Shot him. I killed him. I killed him. I don't know if these confessions are entirely legal. They're extra legal. Now stay tuned for Seinfeld on NBC. Now backstage NBC with Sequest Jonathan Brandis. I've always related this to a film in the, in the sense that it's done like a feature film. It's definitely not only high profile, but it's, it's, it's high proportion. I think there's a great uh, sci-fi element in the show this year. I think it's, uh, I think it's fantastic. Uh, I think there's a lot of areas of ESP and, and psychic phenomenons that they can be in, incorporated into the show that I think are very interesting. Something you've never seen before in television. A primetime tradition for over 50 years. This is the NBC Television Network. It's time for an exclusive NBC star sighting. ER's Anthony Edwards exposed. He began his career as a nerd, learning the importance of pocket protectors. Then, as a top gun, he saw the value of life preservers. Now, as Dr. Mark Green on ER, he's picked up the secret of successful surgery. Well, the best trick is what our uh, technical advisor told us, which is doctors never say whoops. Ouch. Sorry. Sorry. What is that? Oh, my God. They say there. There. ER, this Thursday and every Thursday, only on NBC. Stay tuned to NBC. Your local news is next. This fall, the Lawrence Brothers are coming to NBC in the new comedy, Brotherly Love. Now, here's Andy Lawrence and his galaxy of stars. First, Andy as Ace Ventura. Hey, all righty then. Uh... It's alive. It's alive. Now, Andy as the Riddler. Riddle me this, riddle me that. Who's afraid of the big black bat? <sighs> and here's Andy as Elvis. Well, why do you learn much? Huh? They remote. <laughs> Catch all three of the Lawrence Brothers and too many stars to mention on Brotherly Love, Sundays this fall. Now, Farrah Fawcett stars in Substitute Wife on NBC. Now, go behind the badge of homicide with Richard Belzer and Andre Brower. There is a scene where Munch and Pembleton have a little tiff. Hey, 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 hey. 
And that sort of just popped out. I kept saying, Andre, just pretend you're pushing me and I'll react. It's called acting. And I was mortified. I was afraid that I had hurt him or something. And Richard jumped up and he says, no, no, let's keep going. It was really admirable. He popped right up and he was right there. It's a good thing I like him because <laughs> he almost killed me. See Richard Belzer and Andre Brower on Homicide Friday nights. Now dive into Sequest on NBC. Now, Jonathan Silverman on life as the single guy. We uh, analyze single people in the 90s. Ever since you got married, we never do anything anymore where it's just us, just the guys, just you and me, and Manny, and the cable guy. Everybody fixes Jonathan up. She is the most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> the doorman has the sick desire to fix him up. Are you going to call her? <laughs> Don't miss The Single Guy on Thursdays beginning this fall. Now, stay tuned for NBC's Seinfeld. Now, one of John LaRaquette's favorite comedy moments as his friend Carly gets him to go to a masquerade party. Well, the only costume she could find for Hemingway that would fit him was this rather bulbous duck suit. <laughs> if you've got a really stupid suit, uh, put it on me. Are you as turned on as I am? You look like a big squeak toy. The words every man longs to hear, huh? To give us the opportunity, I'm sure there'll be other very silly suits that I dress up in this year. Great comedy as the John Laroquette Show moves to Saturday nights this fall. Now, stay tuned for Abbott and Costello meet Jerry Seinfeld next on NBC. NBC Musical Trivia. Which NBC star has composed album art for pop groups like Poco and America? Was it Mad About You's Paul Reiser, Sequest's new captain Michael Ironside, or News Radio's Phil Hartman? It's me, Phil Hartman. I designed history, America's greatest hits, and Poco's seven, and Poco's biggest selling album, Legend. That was my favorite. Catch News Radio at a special time Thursday, then returning next week to Must See TV Tuesday on NBC. Now, Frasier, winner of four 1995 Viewers for Quality Television Awards. Now, David James Elliott on flying jet fighters in his new NBC series, Jag. We were in the cockpit of actual F-14s. And the camera is moving around with the smoke blowing past the windows. That was quite a setup. It was fascinating. It was wonderful, fun to do. You know, because it did smacks of, of feature film all over. Jack takes flight Saturdays this fall on NBC. Now, find out how electronic stores are still zapping your cash on Dateline NBC. Now it's off to Hawaii, where it may only be a coconut to you, but somewhere a palm tree is a mother. It's Tropical Travels with the Lawrence Brothers. No visit to the islands is complete without parasailing. With Joey Lawrence manning camera, Brother Matthew prepares for takeoff. It's a beautiful view and a picture-perfect landing. Yay, Matthew! Now young Andy Lawrence tries his hand at the sport. Nervous? No. Excited? You bet! And off he goes. After a fun-filled day, the brothers shove off to the mainland for their new comedy, Brotherly Love, Sundays this fall. You're watching NBC. Now, the question the world's been dying to ask, is Rondell Sheridan really just a big kid? Probably, but you know what? I'm probably so close that I don't, I don't really notice it. But I do have this kid quality. Ma, ma, ma. I think it's a trait that has never changed. I need five dollars. I gotta have five dollars. I'm pretty much the same way I was when I was three or four years old. You think you've won, but it's not over. <laughs> Catch Rondell Sheridan this fall in Minor Adjustments, only on NBC. Now, The Price of Passion.
time again for another NBC Unsolved Mystery. Did you know that the theme of Mad About You was composed by one of its stars? But which one? Was it Helen Hunt? Paul Reiser? I don't remember. John Pankow? Leela Kenzel? No! Or Murray? Murray? <laughs> Who composed this haunting theme? Beats me. The answer is Paul Reiser. Sure to catch Mad About You on a new night, Sunday, beginning this fall on NBC. Now, investigative journalism at its best. Dateline NBC. Now, Andy Lawrence tells you about his character, Andy, on the new comedy, Brotherly Love. I am nuts, and I have a genius for making costumes. <laughs> Allow me to cook some meat with my eyes. <laughs> Somebody stop me! Stay for dinner? We're having small woodland creatures. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> Brotherly Love is coming to Sunday nights this fall. The Fly new comedy in the house jams next on Nonstop NBC. NBC's newest must-see TV Thursday comedy, The Single Guy, stars Jonathan Silverman. He went to high school with another NBC star. Was it Courtney Cox of Friends, Will Smith of Fresh Prince, or David Schwimmer of Friends? The answer... Schwimmer and Silverman, what do you think we do? We have a law firm together. Uh, Schwimmer and I went to high school together. We've been pals since we were 12 years old, and I birthed his baby on Friends. Jonathan Silverman stars in The Single Guy, coming to Must See TV Thursdays this fall. Now, stay tuned for nothing. Seinfeld on NBC. Now, America's most unique challenge. It's time for the NBC Celebrity Pet Quiz. Sundays this fall, the Lawrence Brothers are coming to NBC in the comedy Brotherly Love. Now, each of them has a pet. Can you match the brother with the animal? The answers? We have a dog named Jack. 10 points for Joey's dog. And she's got some fish. 20 points for Andy's fish. Matt and 6,000 iguanas. And it's 30 points for Matthew's lizards. <laughs> Make Brotherly Love your pet comedy, Sunday nights this fall. Now, the Sunday night movie, One Woman's Courage on NBC. This fall, Jonathan Silverman and Jessica Heck star in the new comedy, The Single Guy. But did you know each got their big break on Friends? Here's Jonathan Silverman with his friend Jennifer Aniston. I, I'm Carol's ex-husband's sister's roommate. I'm your roommate's brother's ex-wife's obstetrician. <laughs> And here's Jessica Hecht with her friend David Schwimmer. Beardo the Turtle, a classic. I'm reading it to the baby. The, uh, the baby that hasn't been born yet? Wouldn't that mean you're... Crazy? <laughs> Jonathan Silverman and Jessica Hecht are coming together in The Single Guy on Must See TV Thursdays this fall. Great comedy keeps coming with Frasier right now on NBC. Now, Caroline in the City's Eric Lutz remembers an NBC classic moment from Frasier. I'm uh, the new station manager that uh, Frasier hasn't met yet. He invites me to his house for dinner, and I think he's asking me out for a date because I'm gay, and he doesn't know it, but everybody else does. So? So? <laughs> so, you can see where that confusion lies. You're cute when you're nervous. It's 
Sweat, I must be downright adorable now. <laughs> Eric Lutz joins Leah Thompson in Caroline in the City Thursdays this fall. Now, Frasier on NBC, home of America's Games, the 1996 Summer Olympics. And now, NBC presents another exciting edition of Ask Matthew Perry. What's the record for the most goals scored by a single player in an NHL final? Eight. How many presidents were born in Virginia? Eight. What's 2.82841417 squared? Roughly eight. How many is enough? Eight. Call Porter Musical. Kiss me. K. Friends is moving to a new time beginning August 24th. When is it? We're moving? Don't miss Friends at a new time. Eight. Seven Central beginning this Thursday on NBC. Your local news is next. NBC Family Tree. You've just seen Leah Thompson with Michael J. Fox in Back to the Future 3. Now Leah remembers the original Back to the Future. It was really interesting working with Michael J. Fox. Ah. He had a perfect kind of comedy timing. That's a, a big bruise you have there. Ah. Ah. He can also fall off a chair really great, too. Ten years later, Leah falls into her own Thursday night comedy with Caroline in the City. For eight months, I tell the guy to put the toilet seat down, he ignores me. Then I say it's time to move on, and bang! 86 hours later, he's got a date. A date? So I, of course, tell him I have a date, too. Lie, lie, lie. And you really think your color has moved away because she got married? <laughs> wow, conversation and a joke. In 1987, the family tree branched out to include Friends star Courtney Cox. Here's her first appearance in NBC's Family Ties. The crazier she got, the more interested I became in psychology. I mean, all my girlfriends had pictures of, of David Cassidy and John Travolta in their, in their lockers at school. I had this big picture of Freud. Now it's 1995, and Courtney's all grown up. OK, so I'm responsible. I'm organized. But hey, I can be a kook. All right, you madcap gal. <laughs> OK, you let me go grocery shopping, and I buy laundry detergent, but it's not the one with the easy for spout. Why would someone do that? <laughs> One might wonder. This fall, Courtney Cox and friends move to a new time, Thursdays at 8. Later, it's Leah Thompson and Caroline in the City, part of an all-new Must See TV Thursday, this fall on NBC. Now it's time to meet Daniela Deutscher, the golden gun of TNBC's Hang Time. This is Daniela, and she plays Julie. No, is that your name? Who'd you expect? Michael Jordan? They have a girl who's better than any of us on the team. That's right. What's her name? Her name is Julie Connor. I think Reggie's a little afraid of me. Yeah, she's excellent. I mean, it's unbelievable. The golden gun can fill it from all over. He, he respects my game. And uh, we leave it at that. She plays Julie on Hang Time, Saturday mornings, NBC. Check her out. Coming this fall, now more TNBC. Now we ask the TNBC stars, what superpower would you want? Superpower, um, I would, I would be fusion woman. We, we, we want to learn how to fuse things and and I would look at something and I could fuse anything together. Yes. Atoms, you name it, and create yogurt. yogurt. And create this energy that, that we're so searching for in our world. So I would be Fusion Girl. NBA Inside Stuff is next on TNBC. Now we ask the TNBC stars, what superpower would you want? My superpower would probably be read minds. I'd call, be called uh, Mind Reader Mike. That was mine. I wanted the um, ability to see into the future. And mine would be Wonder Jenny. I don't know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 
Stick around for more TNBC. We've seen the future. California Dreams is next. It's Sequest Jonathan Brandis, Super Skydiver, in another exciting segment of NBC Gonzo Sports. The, the scariest part was, was being in the plane and getting to the door with the guy strapped to my back going, I jumped 8,000 times, you better jump. It, it was amazing. Dive into an all new Sequest Wednesdays on NBC. Hey, Save by the Bell is next on TNBC. Halloween is on its way, but what Halloween creation is scared Joey Lawrence. Find out with the Lawrence family. Joey's very skittish of bugs. Special spider. Need these plastic bugs. This huge spider, I mean, it was like this. Tied a string to it. And if you tugged it, the spider would, you know, look like it would walk on a cry. Went nuts. Find out what tricks the Lawrence brothers are up to on a special Halloween Mother Love Monday. Tune in next week for more TNBC. Now, the case of LL Cool J's hats in another installment of the NBC Fashion Police. You're famous for, hats. you know, for hats. The Gilligan's <laughs> Island hat. That's like, that's, that's like a cat in a hat. It's a flying hat. What, what are you talking that's about? That. What do you mean we that. put that on you? That's I you like in 93. That. Yeah, I thought this was... <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> Catch LL Cool J Mondays on In the House. Next time on the NBC Fashion Police, Kramer and Rachel trade hairstyles. Right on, stick around for more TNBC. Now, the Lawrence Brothers, stars of the new comedy, Brotherly Love. I was five years old when I did my first performance on TV. It was kind of my first big break. I was on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson when I was five. So, uh, check this out. Would you welcome Joey Lawrence? Joey? In my regards to Broadway, remember me to the start of my career, really. From that, it led to a role uh, for six years on a show called Give Me a Break, and then uh, that moved me into Blossom. I'm more than a genius. Dad says I'm an idiot savant. <laughs> I'm not sure whether he really is stupid or whether it's just an act. Around the time we were celebrating our 100th episode of Blossom, uh, my character on the show was about to undergo something that was actually happening to me in real life. Joey, in a couple of hours, you're going to be a high school graduate. Joseph Lawrence III. Here we are together, turning a page and opening a new chapter in our lives. Let us look back from the high point of this moment. We are grateful. We are growing. We are graduates. It was a lot more nerve-wracking to go home and make the speech in front of my class and then perform on the show. I think it's the first time it's ever been done on uh, TV, you know, where three family members work on the same project together. My character, Joe Roman, who's kind of thrust into this kind of surrogate uncle, kind of a father figure type thing that he's boys, he has to stay to help him out. And he is just an absolute nut. I mean, he is just so crazy. He's 90% fantasy and 10% uh, reality. There is no Wendy here. There's only Wolverine. <laughs> Well, Matt's character is the typical, you know, coming of age, 15-year-old boy. What are you looking at? <laughs> Nothing. It's a shirt, right? No. I was going to change. So change. What is the shirt? Oh, oh my God. God. Everybody's got to play games. And I didn't want us to 
you know, uh, cop out on the th on the uh, theme song. I, I really wanted it to be a really quality song. Uh, no matter where you are, which is uh, the theme song to the show, Brotherly Love, which will be on NBC this fall. Check it out. Brotherly Love, coming Sundays this fall. There's more fun with an all-star word from our sponsor, right now on NBC. Now it's time for an NBC brain teaser. One of these stars is currently featured on two NBC comedies. Is it Friends Lisa Kudrow, News Radio's Phil Hartman, Single Guy Jonathan Silverman, or Hope and Gloria's Jessica Lundy? No, too many choices. The answer is Lisa Kudrow, who plays twins. The irrepressible Phoebe on Friends. Yeah, you guys, look, the one I jack follows me wherever I go. And twin sister Ursula on Mad About You. You guys want the usual? Uh, sure, why not? Okay, and that would be what? Catch Lisa Kudrow and Friends tomorrow night at 8. And don't forget, Mad About You moves to a new night, Sunday, beginning September 17th. Now, investigative journalism at its best. Dateline, NBC. Now, Tom Amandus and his gang of lunatics on NBC's new comedy series from the producers of Frasier and Wings, The Pursuit of Happiness. Things start out good and then I go to hell in the handbasket. Uh, Steve, I need you to take this personal injury case for me. Is he injured? If he's coached properly. <laughs> Steve is the ringleader of these wackos and he's just trying to keep us all in line. What are you two up to? Ah, just having sex. <laughs> the brother-in-law, Larry, is the constant stone in Steve's shoe. <laughs> My life goes from being just about perfect to just about perfectly awful. The Pursuit of Happiness, Tuesdays this fall. Now, News Radio on NBC, home of the 1996 Summer Olympic Games. Saturday, it's the 75th anniversary of the Miss America pageant. The show will be live coast to coast, and viewers will get to vote to keep or eliminate the swimsuit competition. Let's look back with NBC stars to see what Miss America meant to them. When I was a child, I lived for the Miss America pageant. Our whole family sat in front of the television. I certainly did watch it with my family every year. Then whoever won, we all burst into tears. And I think it's a wonderful American institution. Some say the swimsuit competition should be eliminated. Saturday night, you'll get a chance to vote to either keep it or get rid of it in that night's pageant. How would you vote? I would keep the swimsuit competition. I would keep the swimsuit competition. I think the girls look wonderful in bathing suits. This is what you look forward to. In bare feet. It's a little bit weird in the high heels. I always want to see how I compare. <laughs> I would eliminate the swimsuit competition completely because I don't think people want to see me in a swimsuit. It's a first. Miss America will be live coast to coast, and you, the viewer, will get a chance to call in and vote to determine yes, the swimsuits stay, or no, they go in that night's pageant. Now, these swimsuits are important to me, people. After voting on the swimsuits, share the suspense of who will be crowned Miss America. Not as easy as it looks, but what's it like to hold the Miss America tiara? Wow, I can't believe they're actually letting me hold this. I'll take the crown. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> it's butter. Who, who's this? <laughs> if I were king of the forest. This thing is heavy. It's hard to be Miss America. Saturday, watch Miss America and determine the fate of the swimsuit competition with your live call-in vote. Happy 75th anniversary, Miss America. Congratulations on your 75th anniversary, Miss America. 
congratulations on your 75th anniversary, Miss America. Here's to 75 more. Be a part of the 75th Miss America pageant on NBC and vote to keep or eliminate that night's swimsuit competition. Now, fasten your seatbelts for the action hero of the 90s. Get ready for David James Elliott and blast off with JAG. JAG lawyers defend, prosecute, and investigate. Any idea who murdered Angela? Who said she was murdered? She committed suicide. I want a finding of accidental death. You mentioned a murder investigation. You know something I don't, Lieutenant? She was murdered. We're making movies every week. We were in the cockpit of actual F-14s, and the camera is moving around with the smoke blowing past the windows. That uh, was quite a setup. It smacks of, of feature film all over. It looks fresh and new and different. Being an action show, it takes a lot to do that. This has just been a blast from day one. Jag takes flight Saturdays this fall on NBC. The Tonight Show is all new this week with scheduled guests Sybil Shepard, Leah Thompson, and David Hyde Pierce. Now, NBC goes backstage at this week's Emmy presentation to salute Frazier, the winner of five Emmy Awards, including Best Actor, Best Supporting Actor, Best Director, Best Writing, and Best Comedy Series. This calls for a celebration. The Emmy goes to Kelsey Grammer. They like me. They really like me. <laughs> David Hyde Pierce. It's something I really want, I think. David Lee. What I really want to do is act. Ooh, ah. Does this mean I never have to work again or just that I'll never work again? I'm just really moved. Thank you very much. Yes! Yes! Oh, my God! Yes! Now, find out why Frasier is such a big winner next on NBC. America's king and queen of coupledom, Mad About You, moves to its new day this Sunday. Now, here's an NBC brain teaser with Murray. Hey, you're on. Good question. Is it Morty, Ramon, Maui, or Oswald? Too many options. Here's a hint. This lovable dog is an island unto himself. The answer is Maui. All right, all right, I'll tell him. Murray and Mad About You are moving to Sundays on NBC. Relax, I was going to say it. NBC congratulates ER, winner of eight Emmys, including Juliana Margulies for Best Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. Now, up close and personal with America's favorite dog, Murray. This dog actually got cast at the last minute, two hours before we shot the pilot. You looking? No. <laughs> we get more letters about the dog than anything else. <laughs> People will see me in the airport, hey, where's Murray? Oh, how about the show? Do you like the show? You like me? The dog, we like the dog. He's clueless. He has no idea that he's a big head.
Holy trivia. Hey, it's time again for another NBC Brain Teaser. Ready? Here we go. Who's the tallest actor in the NBC lineup? Is it Seinfeld's Michael Richards, Kelsey Grammer, Pursuit of Happiness star Brad Garrett, Okay. or John Laurel Gay? Uh, I guess it would be me. I'm uh, six, eight and three quarters, 270 pounds, and uh, I have the strength of three Irish women. I just got a call from a guy who swears he found a full-grown squirrel in a box of breakfast cereal. Boy, talk about fiber. That squirrel's gonna buy me a boat. <laughs> Don't miss Mr. Big, Brad Garrett, on the pursuit of happiness in just one hour on NBC. Remember Dennis Miller, the SNL news guy? Well, news is still in his blood as he stopped by on an all-new news radio. Hey, baby, I hear the blues are calling Tossed salads and scrambled eggs Mercy And maybe I seem a bit confused Well, maybe, but I got you pegged <laughs> But I don't know what to do With those tossed salads and scrambled eggs They're calling again Good night, Seattle, we love you Tonight, we welcome NBC 26 in Green Bay, Wisconsin, to the 215 affiliate Strong NBC family. It's now time for the first annual Fresh Prince Foosball Championship. We're about to get our little foosball on. That's right. We got our little foosball on. Ever. This is my game. Two for me. But none of that. None of that. <laughs> yeah. That'd be three for me. See, now you're cheating. Look at that cowboy. He's a part of that. He's a... That would be four for me. Put it in. I can't put it in. Blood ass. Uh, What's up with all his feet? That's bad feet. And when somebody play you like that, you just take care of it like this. Hey, be sure to catch an all-new Fresh Prince tomorrow night. And now, drop by 51 Fifth Avenue. The Buckmans are expecting you. Mad About You starts right now on NBC. Brace yourselves for another exciting edition of It's a Mad, 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 Mad About You World. Today we travel to sunny Mexico for Mad About You Espanol. Viva! Loco por ti. ¿No quieres el bing bang? Eso es lo que quería. ¿Y ahora? Ya se me pasó. ¿No quieres el boom? Por supuesto que quiero el boom. El hombre siempre quiere el boom. Hacemos todo el bing bang para llegar al boom. Loco por ti. Hey, that's my line. Mad About You, Sundays at 8, 7 central on NBC. Tonight, NBC welcomes NBC4, Columbus, Ohio, to the proud Peacock family. NBC and the makers of Friends presents another compelling edition of You Make the Call. Let's watch. Hey, y'all. Oh, how'd it go? He walked me to the subway and said, we should do this again. Oh. What? He said we should do it again. That's good, right? Was it, in fact, a good date? You make the call. The answer after this. Look out. Janice is back, and wait till you see what she looks like now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Friends, Thursday on NBC. Her date told her they should do this again. Was this a good date? No. Loosely translated, we should do this again means... You will never see me naked. Mm. Hey, thanks for playing. And don't forget, friends, must see TV Thursdays on NBC. Your local news is next. Hey, have you heard the latest Hollywood gossip about two stars of NBC's Must See TV Thursday? I didn't believe it when I saw the tabloids, but when I read it in the morning paper, could it be true? David Schwimmer of Friends and Jonathan Silverman of The Single Guy are the same person? Maybe. Let's get the real scoop. It's actually our first on-camera interview ever together. We first met in uh, ninth grade, but we really bonded in Coach Billingsley's uh, football. That's right. I don't... We dated best friends, and, uh, females. Now you got the truth. David and Jonathan on Must See TV Thursday.
Pucker up, viewers. It's time for another edition of NBC's The Art of Kissing. Greetings, friends, and welcome. This week, we will be focusing on the osculatory techniques of America's favorite couple. I need you to kiss me like no man has ever been kissed. Notice the technique. Note how he accepts her. her gentle, moist, slightly parted, inviting lips. How sh- We are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. This concludes this week's lesson. Wait, I'm all right now. Yeah, I don't think so. Your assignment for next week, watch Mad About You. Now an all-new Seinfeld on NBC. Chevy Chase, and you're not, but he is hosting Saturday Night Live in 30 minutes along with musical guest Lisa Loeb. Your local news is next. Sequest Jonathan Brand is super skydiver in another exciting segment of NBC Gonzo Sports. You know, the scariest part was, was being in the plane and getting to the door with the guy strapped to my back going, I've jumped 8,000 times, you better jump. It, it was amazing. Dive into an all-new Sequest Wednesdays on NBC. ER's Anthony Edwards hanging with Jay Leno. Your show is so intense. I was thinking about this the other day because I saw something that made me laugh. Let's take a look here. Let's Go ahead. Two years in there, we got an abruption. She's bleeding out. Carter Chan, count up. Get the baby out. <laughs> so that's the baby from V. The best part really is Sherry Stringfield and Juliana Bartley. <laughs> I had no idea. And they, like, screamed. I never <laughs> believed it. And Brad Whitford, who played the dad, who was in the background, was just like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> the laughs keep coming. I'm an all new Hope and Gloria, next on NBC. Now, direct from NBC's Late Night, it's the first ever news radio dance contest featuring Phil Hartman and Vicki Lewis. Let's see who's got the best moves. First up, Vicki's Maniac Dance. And the scores are pretty evenly divided on that one, Bob. Hey, now on to round two and Phil's Hillbilly Dance. Good luck, Phil. Ooh, and the judges are giving the nod to Phil. Hey, look for a rematch real soon on News Radio Tuesday. Hey, hey, Kurt Russell and Martin Short star in the NBC premiere of Captain Ron. From the NBC studios in beautiful downtown Burbank, an all-star musical event, Caroline the Acoustic Session, featuring Amy Peets. I'm crazy for crying and crazy. Go, Malcolm Getz. But ain't it grand to have a gal so big and fat that when you go to her. Like and a special tribute to Broadway with Leah Thompson and the entire cast. Caroline, the acoustic session from the creators of Must See TV's new Thursday night hit, Caroline in the City. Now, let's switch to Studio 3B in New York for Dateline NBC. Not a doctor, but he plays one on TV. <laughs> now ER's Anthony Edwards reveals the secret of successful surgery. The best trick is what our uh, technical advisor told us, which is doctors never say whoops. Ouch. Sorry. Sorry. What is that? They say there. There. 
Unbelievable! Don't miss Anthony Edwards in an all-new episode of the mother of all medical dramas, ER, this Thursday on NBC. Hey, babe. LL Cool J is in the house. It's on NBC. Want to take a ride on a jet fighter? Beautiful! Strap yourself in. Don't forget your helmet. Pull that throttle and take off with Jag. The flight that two of our heroes take. And when we looked at the stock footage, we generated a landscape along with the tracer fire and flew our planes through there. What you're seeing in Sarajevo is actually Irvine, California. That was awesome. And this week, Jag really gets up to speed to stop a military coup. All new Jag is pumping Saturday on NBC. Now, Jane Pauley and Stone Phillips bring you Dateline NBC, winner of five news Emmys. Hey, for all you Hope and Gloria fans, here's a little comedy nugget from 1990. Cynthia Stevenson's first NBC appearance with Kelsey Grammer on Cheer. Oh, no. I've broken up a wonderful friendship because I was selfishly thinking of nothing but my own burning womanly needs. Now, this has gone on long enough. If I may intercede, you are mistaken. You don't have to settle. You can pick and choose. Who are you and why are you so damned handsome? <laughs> You're settling again. Oh, I guess you're right. See, of course, in case of someone like me, I can see how you wouldn't think it was settling. You're right. I can do better. <laughs> Good luck, babe. You know the drill. Kelsey on Frasier Tuesdays, Cynthia on Hope and Gloria Sundays. Hey, all this week, it's Late Night Laughs with Jay Leno in The Tonight Show. Your local news is next. Time again for some NBC trivia featuring delicious must-see TV dinners. Can you guess the gourmet eateries with the gourmet comedies? Okay, which New York Java joint do friends love to hang out in? Hint, it's the meeting place for percolating batter. It's Central Perk. And where does Frasier go for that late night latte? Hint, don't be nervous. It's Cafe Nervosa. Waxing. Next, what New York diner does Seinfeld love to frequent? Hint, your father loves it. Monks! Thank you! Dig into all these delicious comedies on NBC Must See TV. TV never tasted so good. Hey, you need an airline reservation? Well, if your friend star, David Schwimmer, it's a snap. Hello, this is David Schwimmer from Friends. I'm hosting Saturday Night Live this week, and I need a flight to New York first class. Uh, no, no, actually, you're, you're thinking of Matt LeBlanc. No, I'm quite sure. Yes, he, he is very funny. Yeah, uh-huh, she is that pretty in person. Yes, he is very talented. Don't miss nearly everyone's favorite, David Schwimmer, this week on Saturday Night Live. No, I've never actually met Frazier's dog. Jerry Seinfeld's Little Show is next on NBC. And now, a very special message from David Schwimmer of Friends. I'm hosting Saturday Night Live this week, and I plan to prove to you that I'm not just another sitcom actor, but I'm a versatile performer as well. I can sing. I can dance. But most of all, I'm funny. I said roast, not post. <laughs> Join the multi-talented David Schwimmer this week. Wait, the juggling. On Saturday Night Live. Tonight, the NBC Television Network salutes KXAS 5, the Texas News Channel in Dallas, Fort Worth. 
So you think being a homicide cop is easy? Well, listen to Andre Brower as he goes behind the badge of Detective Frank Pendleton. It's a group of people just like you work with, with higher stakes. Murder. You may be dealing with a multiple fire center. I want a positive ID on this body. I want this case closed. Feud. Even if the victim is killed accidentally, he's still dead by someone else's hand, which makes this a murder investigation, which begins with the cause of death. We avenge the dead. You won't believe what's cooking on the season premiere of Homicide in just one hour. Now, the Friday night edition of Dateline NBC. Now, NBC salutes one of the greatest musical performers of our time. First, there was Elvis. Then, the Beatles invaded America. Now, meet the future of rock and roll. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Phoebe Buffay. Do I know that name? That sounds familiar. You don't have to be awake to be oh, my no, no, man. No, no, no. Long as you have brainwaves, I'll be there to hold your hand. Is there a mute button on this woman? Catch the artist currently known as Phoebe on Friends. Now, for your viewing enjoyment, a very special Mad About You on NBC. Big fun. Okay, here's something we bet you didn't know. One of the stars of NBC's Must See TV Tuesday is a she-devil on wheels. In other words, a celebrity race car driver. Which one of these lovelies is it? Oh, the mystery. It's me, Crystal Bernard from Wings. I'm here at the Molson Indy, Vancouver. Our top speed is about 115. I'm pretty scared, actually. This is the first time I've been quite frightened. This track is very fast. Racing is not what people think. They think it's a daredevil sport. It's a very concentrated, skillful sport. Put all your hair up in the helmet. In one hour, we'll find out how Crystal does in the race. Go, girl. Hey, next, a special Thursday Frasier on NBC. An hour ago, we found out that Wings Crystal Bernard is about to race in the Molson Indy. Crystal, how you feel? I'm scared. Crystal revs her engine and takes off, but soon she learns the meaning of yield. From out of the blue, she gets careened, baby! <laughs> it's a crash and a boom situation. It's heinous. Crystal hits the wall, literally. Oh, no! What is she ever going to tell the insurance adjuster? Banged into each other like six times. I hope he doesn't think it's my fault. Hey, follow Crystal to Tuesday nights because he's come back. Lowell's back on Wings. You won't believe what's going down in the ER right now on NBC. Now, the case of David James Elliott and his many jazz uniforms is solved in another installment of the NBC Fashion Police. The uniforms that I wear, the dress whites, the regular whites, khakis, pilot jumpsuits, anybody who wears them looks fantastic. You put on these uniforms and something happens. You know what they say about gold wings and a white uniform? Get in style with Jag, Saturdays on NBC. Next time, the NBC Fashion Police uncover Niles' secret Hawaiian shirt collection. This week, the stars come out on NBC's Tonight Show with Anthony Edwards, Will Smith, Tony Bennett, and oh, so many others. Your local news is next. Great Americans have said great things. It began with George Washington, who said, I cannot tell a lie. Abraham Lincoln proclaimed four score and seven years ago. Now another great American. It's the wit and wisdom of Lowell. Yeah, there's nothing like seeing America. It's no wonder it's the greatest country on the planet. Celebration of the world's cultures mingling together in a magnificent tapestry. Where'd you go? Dollywood. This Tuesday, he's back. Lowell's back on wings. It's a mad, mad world on NBC's Mad About You, next. The top story in this week's Prying Peacock is NBC's Star Cross Thursday, where the stars of your favorite programs will be popping up all over the place. I love the peacock. 
First, look who's on Friends. It's Leah Thompson. Then, who's the mysterious stranger on The Single Guy? It's no mystery. It's David Schwimmer. Plus, will Jonathan Silverman and Matthew Perry capture Caroline's heart? I'm trying to know. Our psychic predicts these stars will be popping up on each other's shows. And Kramer gets abducted by aliens? Find out Thursday. Now, Melrose places Daphne's Omega and Jags David James Elliott in Degree of Guilt on NBC. Friends David Schwimmer and Jonathan Silverman of The Single Guy went to high school together. Isn't that precious? Now, for the first time, these old class cronies paid tribute to each other's theme song. Here's Jonathan saluting the famous Friends clap. Yeah, that's right. You got it. Thanks, Courtney. <laughs> now, what's the theme song to The Single Guy? Drum roll, please. Thank you, Courtney. It's the world premiere of the theme to The Single Guy, sung by David Schwimmer and Jonathan Silverman. He's single. Well, he's the guy. The single guy. Uh, get the Rembrandts on the phone, will you? Hey, remember, David Schwimmer guest stars on The Single Guy. I NBC Star Cross Thursday. Now Jane Pauley and Stone Phillips bring you Dateline NBC. Hey, Hepcats! Continuing our Star Cross Thursday love cruise, love is in the air tonight when Jonathan Silverman and Matthew Perry pay a little visit to Caroline in the city. Let's go to our boys for an update. Hello, good evening. It's November 2nd. So yes, we're all kind of walking onto each other's shows, and it's a lot of fun. Because usually we Very just exciting. walk all over each other. Exactly. It's kind of like visiting other schools or other jobs for a little bit, you know? It's, it's a little opportunity to see how the other shows uh, go about their business, and I think that this one's doing a very good job. Top notch. Top notch. So who's flirting with who? Find out. I'm Caroline in the City, right after Seinfeld on Star-Crossed NBC. What is it? Something happened with the soup Nazi. Well, well, what is the matter? It lays down there causing all kinds of commotion. Somehow she got a hold of his recipes, and she says she's going to drive him out of business. The soup Nazi says that now that his recipes are out, he's not going to make any more soup. He's moving out of the country, moving to Argentina. No more soup, Jerry. No more for any of us. Well, where are you going? He's giving away what's left. i got to go home and get a big pot. <laughs> Matthew Perry and Jonathan Silverman are star-crossed over Caroline, next on NBC. Ah, yes, that throbbing disco beat must mean it's time for another page from the Where Are They Now Files. And who says 70s better than Mr. John Ritter? Well, we found him on the set of our Tuesday night hit, News Radio. What's the deal, John? Get me out of here, really. I, I shouldn't be here. They have some pictures of me, some compromising pictures. They said they'll use them unless I do this show. John Ritter plays doctor. Well, hello, Dr. Frank. Kind of enjoyed that. <laughs> that was OK. Yeah. On News Radio, Tuesday. From 90210, Brian Austin Green and Tiffany Amber Thiessen star in She Fought Alone, next on NBC. Okay, Tim Daly of Wings had a once-in-a-lifetime aviation experience. Was it piloting a hot air balloon, spending a day in the space shuttle, or flying with a blue angel? No, uh, not that guy. Great. Yeah, this guy. Hey, get the answer with Later's Greg Kinnear. Are you a pilot? I flew with the Blue Angels a couple of years ago. How was that? It's not like being in a regular plane. You're sitting in the plane, and the guy pulls back on the stick, and suddenly... Uh-oh. And then you're like this. We're losing Tam. You're like this. <laughs> Which is not a position I'm used to flying in on commercial airlines. Take off with an all-new Wings on Must See TV Tuesday. Hey, we got you some big names. Dennis Miller and Phil Hartman, next on NBC's Laurel Kett. Hey, 
It's 90210's Brian Austin Green and Tiffany Amber Thiessen on their first movie together. NBC She Fought Alone, and it's a far cry away from Beverly Hills High. This story is about a girl who wanted to be in this crowd. After tonight, you'll be one of us. My best friend took advantage of his power. Don't ever grab me. She basically stands up for herself and takes action. She wants to cry wolf, well, she'll see what happens. And the crew will start harassing her. What's your problem? You'll see this young girl becoming very strong, fighting for her rights. She Fought Alone premieres in just 30 minutes, right here on NBC. Debbie Allen's real-life sister, Felicia Rashad, guest stars in a totally fresh In the House on NBC. Now, once again, it's time for an NBC brain teaser. Hey. Friends ladies' man, Matthew Perry, is related to another famous ladies' man. Oh, I know. Joe Perry from Aerosmith. Uh, no. Uh, Admiral Perry the Explorer. No. Perry Gilpin from Frasier. I don't think so. My uncle? Your uncle? Yeah. He's a periodontist. <laughs> you about done? The answer is Matthew Perry's dad, the old spice man. Oh, old spice has a lot of rewards. You'll love old spice. Say, that guy looks familiar. Yeah, he looks like that guy from Friends. <sighs> Will Ross and Rachel ever get together? What? What? Find out this Thursday on Friends. <laughs> this just in. John Ritter guest stars on News Radio. Next on NBC. That is all. To get ready for Las Vegas Monday, Will Smith and LL Cool J went for a little ride with the Flying Elvi. This, this, this uh, ain't our plane. What do you mean? This is not a good idea, man. No, this is a great idea. This is a great idea. I mean, I've been wanting to do this for years. You ready, man? You ready? <laughs> I want to kill you! Happy landings for the Fresh Prince in the house, honeymoon in Vegas, Robin Williams on The Tonight Show on NBC Las Vegas Monday. What do you get when you put Will Smith, LL Cool J, the Vegas Strip, and world champion magician Lance Burton together? Magic. Have a seat, man. Sit down there. Uh, hold up, fellas. We're all ready for your trick. What? Hold up, Lance. Sit what down. the trick? Lance, I, we was just coming down to, uh, to you was going to give us, hey, what's, what's with the sheep, man? Hey, Lance. Okay, LL, hey, clap I, along. Here we go. One, two, three. Will, you two, come on. Two, three, four. All right, bring, bring me back now. It's dark in here. Yeah. Jill, Will, you'll be back in time for NBC Las Vegas Monday with the Fresh Prince in the house at Honeymoon in Vegas. Now, visit the Vegas Strip with Will Smith and LL Cool J for NBC Las Vegas Monday. Will, check this out. They do good work around here. What are you talking about? They got it all wrong. It's supposed to say LL Cool J, then Will Smith. All right, all right, all right. Watch this. <laughs> ah, you happy? Yeah, that's better. Catch NBC Las Vegas Monday. Give me that remote. Hey, boys, you chill. Monday, it's NBC Las Vegas Monday with the Fresh Prince in the house, Honeymoon in Vegas, and Robin Williams on The Tonight Show. Now Vegas legend Wayne Newton with Will Smith and LL Cool J. Hey guys, good to see you. I'm up, a man? big fan of your work. How can I help you? We were kind of thinking, you know, I got this vision for us, you know, maybe doing something together. Well, guys, I like you a lot, but I work alone, you know, solo. Yeah. Don Kishin, yeah. darling, right. Don Kishin. Don Kishin, jump, Thank jump. Thank you for all Woo. the joy. All the ladies in the back. Yo, LL, where you going? Don Kishin yourself. He don't get it. Central Park and Fall. Monday, it's NBC Las Vegas Monday with the Fresh Prince in the house, Honeymoon in Vegas, and Robin Williams on The Tonight Show. NBC Las Vegas Monday continues, so let's catch up with Will and LL on the Vegas Strip. Hey, listen, you know, we was just wondering, you know, how, how come ain't no black L vibe? Will, there's no way in the world that a brother's gonna dress up like this. Not a real brother. You should be the first black Elvis. Don't go there, Will. 
No, no, man, I'm serious. Think about what it do for your career. You throw on one pair of tight white Heine hugging pants, man, and you out of here. Excuse me for one moment. I have to set Will straight on a few things. Just check out my show in the house. Don't you have Just try to wait. Just try to wait. Like you like the you Vegas Spot like continues, continues with In the House next on NBC Las Vegas Monday. It's question and answer time with Will LL and the actual flying Elby from Honeymoon in Vegas. Hey, no, look, I'm just curious. Is this, is this like a full time gig? Is this all you guys do? Well, what else do you guys do? Oh, I'm a doctor. Thank you very much. Oh, you're a doctor? Oh, that's cool. You ever like drop a rhinestone inside or something like that? Okay, go ahead, guys. Do your thing. Catch us in Honeymoon in Vegas. Next on NBC. Hey, the king wouldn't lie to you, right? Honeymoon in Vegas is next on NBC Las Vegas Monday. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let's check back with Will and LL and Lost Wages. Yeah, come, come on, man. It, it wasn't that bad. Man, you need to squash all that. Mom. I told you I didn't like to gamble, but no, you we... had to push it. Now look at us. We don't have no money, even a flying hell by left. Yeah, man, but, but see, because we was gambling, man, and, and it was, we was winning, but then something. One question. How are we supposed to get home? Say, I mean, I could people, let me make some calls. Just hold up. You screaming, and I can't think while you screaming. Uh... Yeah. Hey. Hey, what's up, Jay? Hey, Will, how are things going? Not too good, man. You know, me and L, you know, we down here, we, we, we chilling in Vegas and everything. You know, I had a minor cash flow problem. And, uh, you know, we, we was wondering, you know, can, uh, can, can you come get us? Ooh, sorry, guys. No can do. Got the big GTS coming up in 35 minutes. That's Vegas talks of the Tonight Show. Got uh, RWs on it. That's Robin Williams. What, what, what? Listen, when I get back to LA, we'll do much, huh? Okay. He on his way. That's it, man. That's it. Uh, L, don't speak to me. L. Now, let's join the mayor of Las Vegas. Las Vegas is the entertainment capital of the world, and in recognition that NBC Television Network is dedicating tonight's entire line of programming to our fair city, I, Jan Lavery Jones, the mayor of the city of Las Vegas, proclaim today, November 13th, 1995, NBC Las Vegas Monday. Will? Will. Excuse, excuse me, could y'all keep me down a little bit? I'm trying to watch my show. Thank you. <laughs> Pucker up, viewers. It's time for another edition of NBC's The Art of Kissing. Greetings, friends, and welcome. This week, we will be focusing on the osculatory techniques of friends Ross and Rachel. Note how they communicate without words, speaking only through the driving rhythms of their pounding hearts. Their lips meet and... Oh. Hey there, fella. Uh... So they smooch, and that's that. This week on Friends, Ross makes his big choice. Will it be Julie or Rachel? Find out Thursday on Friends. Now let's switch to Studio 3B for Dateline NBC. Oh, hello, dear. BB Newworth, you know, Lilith from Cheers. Right, guest stars next on NBC's News Radio. Come to the city that never sleeps. But if you don't like Burbank, come to Las Vegas. We'll be there all week.
Pucker up, viewers. It's time for another edition of NBC's The Art of Kissing. Greetings, friends, and welcome. This week, we will be focusing on the osculatory techniques of friends Ross and Rachel. Note how they communicate without words, speaking only through the driving rhythms of their pounding hearts. Their lips meet and... Oh. Hey there, fella. Uh... So they smooch, and that's that. This week on Friends, Ross makes his big choice. Will it be Julie or Rachel? Find out Thursday on Friends. Now let's switch to Studio 3B for Dateline NBC. short, they're talented, they're furry. Mad About You proudly presents an unbiased look at the great animal acts of all time. First, we examine the artistry of Salvatore the Seal. Ooh, he can blow sacks. Big deal. Can Sal do this? I think not. Next, we travel to the former Soviet Union for Alexei and Ludmila, the flying Korsakov. Eh, boring. Let's see them top this. Let's see that again in slow motion. So, there you have it. Murray is the greatest animal act of all time, and you can only see him on Mad About You. Broadcasting from 215 affiliates nationwide, including NBC5 Chicago. You're watching NBC. Next Monday, Marky Post stars as a mother who was once abducted by aliens, and now they're back for her daughter. Here's a look at the NBC sci-fi thriller, Visitors of the Night. Judith is a mother who was abducted at five years old by aliens. She begins to discover the truth about herself because it's happening to her daughter, too. What the hell? And it's all beginning to come back. The aliens have a way of making them forget what's happened to them and wants to save her from the worst fate she can think of aside from death, which is to be taken away from her. Leave her alone! Take me! Visitors of the Night premieres next Monday on NBC. Your local news is next. Gobble, gobble. Hey, it's time again for Thanksgiving tips with Teddy the turkey. Oh, yeah, hi. After you'd knocked back some Thanksgiving ham, settle in for another Thanksgiving tradition. Hold on. Ah! Yes. Ah! Fish sticks can make for a memorable Thanksgiving alternative, as so can the Mighty Ducks on Friday. How many fingers am I holding up? Saturday's a good day to enjoy Dennis the Menace with some of that <laughs> leftover Thanksgiving macaroni and cheese. Hey, Mr. And on Sunday, save room for Jurassic Park. Look out! I can't see us if we don't move. And um, maybe have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich so nobody gets hurt. <laughs> don't miss the Thanksgiving extravaganza beginning tomorrow on NBC. So do you think they bought it? Sure they did. Say, uh, is that a drumstick? Come on! Maris gives Niles the shock of his life this Tuesday on Frasier. Now join Robert Stack and the cast of Frasier as they reveal who Maris Crane really is on NBC Unsolved Mysteries. Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, extraterrestrials. Everyone has heard of them, but who has ever really seen them? Tonight, NBC is searching for its own mysterious creature, the wife of Fraser Crane's beloved brother, Niles, the elusive Maris Crane. Who, she was last seen in the sleepy seaside city of Seattle, Washington. Her long-suffering, doting husband, Niles Crane, offers the first clues to her identity. She's been afraid to fly since her harrowing incident. Did a plane almost crash? No, no, she was bumped from first class. <laughs> she still wakes up screaming. Unsolved Mysteries has attained the talents of one of the nation's top police sketch artists. Using the facts uncovered in this special report, he will render a portrait of Maris Crane that will be revealed by the end of this program. And for the first time, we'll finally see who Maris Crane really is. But what about her appearance? What do we really know? Thin. Make that very thin. Caucasian. Very Caucasian. What's wrong with Mrs. Crane? Cosmetic surgery. Her chin. Her lips. 
her cheeks, her <laughs> eyelids. Maybe it'd be faster if you just told us why she's leaving alone. Unsolved Mysteries went through the secret medical files of Maris Crane. What we uncovered was shocking. Now, what do you think Mrs. Crane would like for dinner? She can't have shellfish, poultry, red meat, saturated fats, nitrates, wheat, starch, sulfites, MSG, or dairy. <laughs> Did I say nuts? Oh, I think that's implied. <laughs> By the facts we acquired, our top police sketch artist finally reveals a portrait of Maris Crane. Eyewitness reports suggest that Maris Crane is planning to strike again. The unfortunate victim, her husband, Niles. She wants a divorce. I can't believe this is my home. You're not taking me. Don't miss the starting revelations to be revealed in this Tuesday's Frasier. And perhaps you, too, can help solve a mystery. Is it divorce court for Maris and Niles? Solve the Frasier mystery this Tuesday on NBC. Your local news is next. Now, News Radio's Dave Foley tells how his comedy troupe, The Kids in the Hall, was inspired by Jack Benny. Guys would hang out in the hallways of 30 Rockefeller and uh, they would uh, shout out jokes to Jack Benny as he came into the studio. And if he liked one, he'd use it on air and pay them five bucks. And they would be called uh, The Kids in the Hall. And that was why we sort of adopted that name. Hello again, this is Jack Benny talking. Your money or your life. I'm thinking it over. Don't miss Frazier's Kelsey Grammer as he salutes Jack Benny Thursday. And speaking of the phrase, Maris gives Niles the old heat ho. It's a must see Frazier right now on NBC. Let's play Stump the Stars of Wings. The Stumper, which NBC star won an Emmy guest starring on Wings? Good luck. Uh, was it, uh... Wasn't it? Maybe it was it, uh... When Katie Cook... Uh, 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 oh, could it have been John Larroquette? No, no. Kelsey Grammer as Fraser Crane. You come to the seminar and you're not completely satisfied, I will refund half your money. Full refund. Half is a very generous offer. Full. Half. Full. Half. Full. Full. Listen, sister, you can't put a price on mental health. Half, take it or leave it. It's a special wing Saturday. Hey, Seinfeld's next on NBC. Now, direct from NBC's Late Night, it's the first ever news radio dance contest featuring Phil Harbin and Vicki Lewis. Let's see who's got the best moves. First up, Vicki's Maniac Dance. And the scores are pretty evenly divided on that one, Bob. Hey, now on to round two and Phil's Hillbilly Dance. Good luck, Phil. Ooh, and the judges are giving the nod to Phil. Hey, look for a rematch real soon on News Radio Tuesdays. Now a comedy sidebar. Here's an all-new home court on NBC. NBC salutes one of the greatest musical performers of our time. First, there was Elvis. Then, the Beatles invaded America. Now, meet the future of rock and roll. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Phoebe Buffay. Do I know that name? That sounds familiar. You don't have to be awake to oh, be no, my no, man. No, no, no. As you have brainwaves, I'll be there to hold your hand. Is there a mute button on this woman? Catch the artist currently known as Phoebe on Friends. Who's scheming who? I gotta know. Hey, find out on an all-new Sisters, next on NBC. Now, 
Homicide's newest edition, Reed Diamond, on why he was born to play a detective as we go behind the badge of Homicide. Growing up in New York City, I always wanted to be a cop. The funny thing was, all the police officers I met, they all wanted to be actors. This is that good cop, bad cop thing, right? He's not the bad cop. I am. I felt the best thing I could do would be to play a cop realistically. It's exciting. I love getting on the set, putting my badge on, and for a little while, feeling like that guy. Don't miss an all-new Homicide in just one hour. Now, the Emmy Award-winning Dateline NBC. Time again for some NBC must-see TV dinners. Can you guess the gourmet eateries with the gourmet comedies? Okay, which New York Java joint do friends love to hang out in? Hint, it's the meeting place for percolating batter. It's Central Perk. And where does Frazier go for that late-night latte? Hint, don't be nervous. It's Cafe Nervosa. Waxing. Next, what New York diner does oh, Seinfeld sorry. love to frequent? Hint, your father loves it. Monks, thank you. Dig into all these delicious comedies on NBC must-see TV. TV never tasted so good. And speaking of must-see TV dinners, here's a special order of wings on NBC. Now, NBC presents another compelling edition of Before NBC. You saw her in commercials before she was an NBC star. Who is she? We know. You're watching the game. But you're waiting for something more exciting. Broiling beef frying nearly two to one. Think about it. Is this Sherry Stringfield of ER? Law and Order's Jill Hennessy? Friends, Courtney Cox? Or Leah Thompson of Caroline in the City? The answer, future NBC star Leah Thompson got her first big break in commercials. Don't miss Leah Thompson on Caroline in the City, Thursdays on NBC. Now, Brian Dennehy stars in the world premiere NBC movie, Shadow of a Doubt. Why is Jonathan Silverman the single guy? Is it rooted in his childhood? Maybe. We asked him to think back to his worst teen dating dilemma. How to ask a girl out. I gotta go back in time and figure out why. How about a date? Uh, oh, really? No thanks. <laughs> oh, boy. What you doing Saturday night? I guess I'm busy. And they can't you giving him the fresh off for me? Well, of all the nerves. I'm sure there's a darn good reason why I'm the single guy. No, no, A new no. single guy Thursday. America's news magazine to the world, Dateline NBC, starts in two seconds. News Radio's Dave Foley presents Dave's Brand Coffee, the official coffee of Must See TV. I'm Bill McNeil, and I drink Dave Brand Coffee. Dave's Brand Coffee. Specially blended for great comedy. <laughs> Dave brand coffee goes down real smooth, don't it? Great coffee, Dave. I'm introducing my new flavored coffee. Mmm. Coffee flavor. Dave's brand coffee. Mmm. That's good coffee. Fresh brewed comedy. Tuesdays on News Radio. Good to the last trip. Seinfeld is up in a snap on NBC. Now, gavel to gavel coverage of the home court on NBC.
Now, the single guy's Jonathan Silverman remembers his favorite scene from It's a Wonderful Life. Um, the famous dance scene with Jimmy Stewart and Donna Reed, and they're dancing on the dance floor, and all of a sudden that creepy kid puts the key into the button, and the floor disappears, and everybody falls into the pool. That was filmed at my high school where I went to school. Phil Hartman and Leah Thompson host the exclusive holiday showing of It's a Wonderful Life tonight on NBC. Stay tuned for more TNBC. Yo, Diana, Dustin, what superpower do you want? Super hours. Um, I'd be peace woman so that we could heal in peace together, peace and harmony. <laughs> I don't know. And I would be food man. <laughs> Actually, to tell you the truth, if I had any power in the world, I would probably wish for the power to heal. You could never get hurt. I mean, if you bruise your ankle or something, like, oh, my ankle, woo! Oh. From all of us at TNBC, Happy New Year! It's now time for TNBC's first installment of Baby Pictures. All right, it's baby picture time. Who's this? Let me see. Who could that be? Christian? That can't be me. No way was I that ugly as a kid. <laughs> Whoa. Can you guess which TNBC star this is? Aww. What's up with that hairdo? Am I detecting a little bit of resemblance? That's one cute kid. Even at an early age, I had it. Don't go away. There's more TNBC springing your way, man. It's time once again for another installment of TNBC's Baby Pictures. <laughs> what TNBC star posed for this picture? There is no resemblance between me and that kid. Now, that cannot be a Say Bye to Bell kid. This is definitely blackmail material. What self-respecting parent would let their kid look like that? I know they say all babies are beautiful, but that one ain't. Oh, is that me? No way was I that ugly as a kid. And y'all, more TNBC's coming at ya. Low self-esteem, limited fashion sense, unpopular at parties? Well, the Screech Powers Pathway to Personality Seminar is for you. Intense training on topics such as wardrobe enhancement, latest dance trends, and superior social skills. Act now, send no check, no money, or to no particular address. This offer is null and void, even in Canada. Remember, if Screech can find his pathway to personality, you got a great shot. Smashing! Stay tuned for more TNBC. Let's take a look at the Hangtime All-Stars to find out who will be the most valuable player on this young Deering High team. The Tornado's team captain, Chris Atwater, leads the pack. Could be the next Shaquille. Don't forget the tall wall of round ball, Earl of the Pearl Hatfield. Delivers as much as the mailman himself. <laughs> the golden gun, Julie Connor, is in fuego. You can't stop her. You can only hope to contain her, folks. Speaking of containers, freshman forward Michael Maxwell has blown the lid off this team. Who do you think will be the Tornado's MVP? Watch Hang Time next on TNBC. Hey, are you ready to go online with TNBC? Hey, what's this? Yeah, I am. The Totally Net Banging Chat is today, Saturday the 9th of March at like 11 a.m. Pacific and 2 p.m. Eastern. Do you know what that means? Go online with Dustin Diamond from Saved by the Bell. Do you mind if I eat lunch while we talk? Along with California Dreams own J. Anthony Frank, Aaron Jackson, and William James Jones. Don't forget, NBC's website is worldwideweb.nbc.com. Microsoft Network's go word is NBC. Stay tuned for more TNBC.
TNBC has discovered never-before-seen footage that might unravel a mystery of larger magnitude than the Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot combined. Join us as we go in search of the legend of Screech. Here is a rare eyewitness account of Screech's existence before Saved by the Bell. Oh boy, I tried to catch up that kid, you know, ask him where he's going, all. He's just too fast for me. To learn more about the lovable and mysterious antics of Screech, watch Saved by the Bell Saturdays on TNBC. Don't want to be touching that remote when there's more TNBC up next. Now, News Radio's Phil Hartman remembers his favorite scene from It's a Wonderful Life. My favorite scene from It's a Wonderful Life is Jimmy Stewart sitting in the bar. It's just agonizing, you know, he's just going... <laughs> If you're up there and you can hear me, show me the way. I'm just so identified with it. Phil Hartman and Leah Thompson host the exclusive holiday showing of It's a Wonderful Life, Saturday on NBC. I've seen it exactly 145 times. Now, here's Snooty in Seattle, our very own Dr. Fraser Crane on NBC. The John Lyle Cat Show's coming at you in about an hour. Hey, remember when John played assistant DA Dan Fielding on Night Court? Yeah. What say we have a little comedy flashback to that hit show from the 80s? Let's go. You want to call me in here, play your little bedroom games, take shots at my manhood? <laughs> That's fine. I get that all the time. Nobody can touch Dan Fielding in a court of law. Or for that matter, anywhere else. You mean? I mean, hold on to your Dixie cups, babe. The <laughs> South shall rise again! Oh, that John. Hey, Loud Cats in an hour. News Radio is next. And here's for a happy Hanukkah from all of us at NBC. Now it's time for some NBC trivia. What's the connection between the sound of music and these Hollywood stars? Mia Farrow, Richard Dreyfuss, Terry Garr, and Kurt Russell. Give up? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. No! A dear, as children, they were all considered for roles as the Von Trapp children in the most successful movie musical of all time. The Sound of Music. Julie Andrews stars in the classic musical, The Sound of Music, Friday on NBC. Broadcasting from Rockefeller Center in New York, this is the NBC Television Network. What's it take to play an assistant DA? Find out as we profile Jill Hennessy. Her show, Law & Order. Her character, Claire Kincaid. A description, stylish. Claire is a very cool chick. She spends most of her money on good wardrobe for court. Probably goes home, watches a couple videos, eats a TV dinner. Another adjective dedicated. She concentrates on work, that's it. She goes out, works with the cops, interviews the witnesses and such, and answers to Jack McCoy. Don't miss Law & Order Wednesday. Happy Hanukkah from all of us at NBC. <laughs> the king of singledom himself, Jonathan Silverman, stars in The Single Guy, next on NBC. NBC Worldwide presents Saskatchewan's favorite game show, Canada, Oh Canada, eh? Sponsored by the comedies of Must See TV. Today's guests, Canadians Dave Foley and Phil Hartman on the set of NBC's hit comedy, News Radio. Let's begin with round one. In Canada, this napkin would be known as A, a wipe, B, a serviette, or C, a bib. Canada, we call it a serviette. A serviette, it's a French term. <laughs> Very good, gentlemen. Next category, the Canadian language. True or false? All Canadians say A? No, actually, uh, no Canadians say that. I don't think. That's, that's, a, mis that's a misconception, eh? 
Correct, Dave. Now, on to round two. Phil, in essay form, compare and contrast the national symbols of the U.S. and Canada. Good luck. Canadians are a modest people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, after all, look at you Americans. Uh, your national mascot is a proud, barrel-chested eagle with an enormous wing spread and a predatory quality. Ooh, our mascot is a bucktooth rodent with a flattened tail. Now, a bonus round for the home viewers. Beginning in January, NBC's comedy sensation News Radio can be seen on which day? The correct answer is Sunday! News Radio moves to Must See TV Sunday right after Mad About You, beginning January 7th on NBC. Your local news is next. And now a special message from NBC that's really out of this world. People of Earth, greetings. We have come from the farthest reaches of the galaxy. And boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> On our own planet, we are without shape, sex, or age. But here, we have assumed a human form so that we might walk among you. Study your ways. We will be landing January 9th on NBC right after Wings. Do not be afraid. We will not harm you. Third Rock from the Sun, from the producers of Roseanne. Broadcasting from Rockefeller Center in New York, this is the NBC Television Network. Please stand by for a very special announcement from NBC. They're coming! Aliens from a different galaxy have invaded the Earth! Yes, aliens! So terrifying, you won't believe your eyes! Don't try to run! Don't try to hide! They're coming! Relax, Lieutenant! They're talking about us. Oh, okay. From the producers of Roseanne, it's Third Rock from the Sun. The invasion begins January 9th, right after Wings. A show called Seinfeld is next on NBC. Now it's time for an NBC brain teaser. Here we go. One of the stars of Wings was a cover girl at the age of six on the Easy Bake Oven Box. Was it Crystal Bernard or Amy Yazbek? It's me, Amy Yazbek, Casey on Wings. And as you can see, I've always been a redhead, no matter what you've heard. This is the Easy Bake Oven. Isn't it beautiful? Now, I don't know why the plastic doesn't melt, because if it's hot enough to bake a cake, but if you work really hard and you're a good little homemaker, you grow up to be a tart. <laughs> Take off with Wings Tuesday, broadcasting from Rockefeller Center in New York. This is the NBC Television Network. Now, a very special song for my friends at News Radio, and one for my special lady. Who's the girl who runs around, chewing gum, and talking love? It's for you, Dad. Here. Can you dig it? Who's the girl over there stressing out with big red hair? Ah! I can't take the brush off. Right on. Hey, that's funny. They say that Beth is one hot little. Shut up. Yeah. I'm just talking about hey, Beth. Bad boss. Bad Beth on News Radio Tuesdays. Now the NBC Monday Night Movie, No Greater Love. Now, an important announcement from Must See TV. 
It is our policy to present information in a straightforward manner. News Radio. Furthermore, we will never resort to so-called subliminal or stealth techniques. Sunday. Such as flash frames. After mad about you. Backwards masking. Big move. Or hidden audio or video Come images. Come on, big fella. Now look. Let's sell this thing, hey, buddy. I'm working here. Come on, big guy. Fine, you do it. Hey, we're a team here, right? Check it out. News Radio moves to must-see TV Sunday right after Mad About You, starting this Sunday on NBC. <clears throat> Thank you. No problem. All right, break's over. We're back with Frazier on NBC. Comedy flashback. Here's John Lithgow and John Lovitz in the classic SNL skit, Master Thespian. Are you prepared the fencing scene from Hamlet? Yes. Now, Thespian and I. Come, come. We fence for the duel with the king of Thespian. Yes. And I am the great Baudelaire. Master. Master. Oh, master. Master, you've cut me. Look how the blood gushes.